guys it's sydney welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video i'm sydney if you are new here today we are doing a little shop with me i'm about to go to the mall and just like shop around all the stores this is like my favorite time of year to shop in the fall and the winter and just like the holiday season and just like see what's new at aritzia zara nordstrom oaken fort just like every single store and do some like try-ons do some like wish list building so i thought it would be really fun to bring you guys along for this video so i really hope that you guys enjoy it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already leave this video a like and a comment Follow me on TikTok for outfits of the day and follow me on Instagram if you just want to keep up with me in my everyday life. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so just like a quick little OOTD before I go ahead and head over to the mall. This is just a long sleeve from Brandy. It's called the Leah. The Leah? Yeah, it's called the Leah Stripe Long Sleeve. And then I just have on some vintage Levi's 501s, which I got from Drop Your Jeans here in LA. They're in Covina. So if you're local to LA, I definitely recommend you checking them out because they're so cheap. They're like 50 bucks. And these would have been like $200 at like Reformation Vintage or something like that. So that is our OOTD. I'm probably gonna wear my vest on top of this because I'm gonna walk to the mall. And then probably just sneakers okay we're in aritzia here is the try on situation we've got a lot of leather going on i got three leather coats to try on some leather pants some jeans that she didn't pull the right size so those won't make it into the try on a white button up a really nice sherpa jacket and then a couple pairs of black everyday pants that i was really really excited to try on Okay, switching over to a voiceover because you guys know how loud it is in Aritzia. This first item I'm trying on is called the Tabloid Trench Coat and I was obsessed with this. I was trying it on in a size medium. It looks just so effortlessly chic. I love the broad shoulders that it has. It just like reminds me a lot of like a really higher end piece. It reminds me of Kourtney Kardashian where she's in like her leather rocker era. <laughs> I love that you could tie it and cinch it in at the waist. I thought that that looked really, really flattering. It seemed like such a good fall piece to have. You could like layer it over a dress or over a skirt or just like jeans like I'm wearing now. I was obsessed with it. Continuing on with the leather, this is the new agency blazer and I tried this one on in a size large which was obviously way too big for me but I thought that it looked like a little bit cheapy. I'm usually a fan of Aritzia's vegan leathers but I didn't like the stitching on the leather. I didn't like how long it was like it came mid thigh which made it feel more of like a pea coat instead of a blazer. I just like really wasn't into it especially for the price point. Maybe in my size medium it would have been a little bit better but still no. Last leather blazer was the Memories blazer from Wilfred. And I like this one a little bit more. I liked how the buttons were tortoise. I tried this one on a medium, which is my true size, but I just couldn't get behind the leather blazers, you guys. Like I wasn't really feeling it. Maybe it was my outfit, but just like for the $200, $250 price point, I just didn't love this Memories blazer either. Next, trying on a couple other pants. These are the published pants from Wilfred, and I did not love the fit. They're kind of like a flared look. They were super high-waisted and not really flattering. I think I took a size 10, which I'm like a size 8, but I just like did not love the overall fit of these ones. And then I tried on the agency pants in the leather, and I really, really like these ones. I needed to obviously get a size 8, but they didn't have it, but I just like really, really loved the overall cut of these, the straight leg, the like mid-rise how long they were for my height I think that they looked really really cute I would definitely try to get these in a size 8 if they did have them the one top I tried on was the Showtime top from Wilfred in a size medium and I wasn't really feeling this one it was 100% cotton but it was slightly see-through and stiff so I couldn't really style it or maneuver it to be flattering on my frame I kind of tried to like unbutton it or like cuff the sleeves a little bit to make it a little bit more flattering but it just didn't work and then the regular agency pants that I tried on you guys I was really really into these ones I needed more like non crepe fabrics in my wardrobe and so I really was a fan of these. I loved the mid-rise. They reminded me a lot of like a thrifted pair of dress pants so I loved those. Those were in a size 10. I don't know if I could do a size 8 but I just like them to be oversized and then tailor them if I need to but I was really really feeling these ones. 
The next pants are the Alana pants from Wilfred in a size 10. And I had previously tried these on in a size 8, but I just like didn't love the snugness of them. They are that crepe fabric, which I'm not like totally into anymore, but the fit was really good. They have like the elasticated waistband, straight leg. I mean, they're like a really cute pair of pants. I like them almost as much as the effortless ones. Then I just wanted to give a quick side by side of the Agency and the Alana, just so you guys can kind of see the difference between the two. And then the last item I tried on was the snow bank jacket from Sunday Best and I'm obsessed. Any kind of loungewear, any kind of jackets, I love it so much. I have a TNA one that's so similar to this, but when I tried this on, I was like, I absolutely have to get this. It'll be a staple in my wardrobe for years. I can always wear it and I was just like obsessed with the color and the fit of it. Okay, I'm back. That turned into just like little, a little Aritzia shop with me instead of all the stores because the other stores just don't really speak to me. I don't know what's up, but my camera was also flashing red, so I just filmed everything on my phone, so I hope that it still looks okay. But I ended up getting a couple things, so let's do a little haul. I got two things that I pretty much already have, <laughs> which is so funny, but I just feel like, whatever, it is what it is. So I ended up getting the Sunday Best Polar like fleece quarter button jacket. This is like absolutely to die. This one was called, I think it was called like the snowboard, the snowbank jacket in Moo Ellen is the colorway. And I got this one in an extra large because as you can see in the try on, it looked so good, just like oversized. And I can't wait to wear this on my Oregon road trip that's coming up at the end of the month so i love this one these are like my favorite jackets ever i have the tna one and it's in like a color that's so similar to this but it's a little bit more of like a true white off bright white so i thought that i could kind of justify the more tan nudish color i just i love it and then the other item that i got are these agency pants so I really liked these pants on and I like them also because they are like the more traditional suit material. They're not like the crepe fabric that the effortless pants are. And I feel like that's like literally every material pant I have in my closet is like that will, all the dress pants are like that crepe fabric and I'm just like not into it. So I wanted to get these, the agency size 10 high rise straight leg and i like that too that they're more of a straight leg unless of like a wide trouser type of fit i feel like they remind me a lot of like some of the theory dress pants that i've been seeing the girlies wear on tiktok so yeah that's the little haul all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video off now thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave me some video ideas down below if there's anything that you guys really want to see from me this fall and winter season. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.